What's up everybody? How y'all doing today? I hope each and every single one of you is doing well. Yeah, sorry there was no timer. I had this scene, I had the starting scene on for well over 10 minutes and the timer kind of disappeared. I know I'm a dick and I kind of forgot to switch over the scene. Restart the timer. Yeah, and now I've got Yuri Mecca telling me uh, how, how do I say this? How do I say this correctly? Trying to convince me, oh, trying to tell me that uh, a brain and well, going going through the brain aneurysm within two on a Kumu mod would be a bad idea. They're trying to convince me that it is a terrible, awful, idiotic idea, and as Mechasan quite elegantly put. It's not a bad idea, it's a stupid idea. On the same level of no knowingly shooting off shooting your thumb off of a fifty caliber or of a fifty cal. I don't think it's on that level as stupid, but I, I don't know. Of course it's stupid. Of course it's stupid. Like being dramatic, of course you do. Of course you do. And I gathered that about you. Yeah, shame I wore this shirt yesterday and today because that means I can't wear this lovely Persona shirt that you can find at my Teespring's uh, link down below uh, tomorrow for Persona. No, no, Diconius, we're not talking about the Evil Within One. We're talking about the Evil Within Two. Because the Evil Within Two has a Kumu mod. Because again, Dante Crisis likes to suffer for his, for his fans, I guess. Okay, so let's not dilly dally about this. Let's go straight into this. And yes, having just gone through the Evil Within on a Kumu mod, uh, yeah, sorry, Vita Chambers are Vita Chambers are on. Because uh, you know, one one aneurysm is more than enough for me recently. Now, we will suffer with you, darling. I doubt it. But I appreciate the co vote of confidence. Which plasma shirt would you have? Good one. Hypnosis, definitely. Oh, that would be cool. A picture of me with a hypnosis ball in my hand and right behind me a big daddy that's a shirt idea that's a fucking shirt idea no daddy it's you let's uh. move to play daddy now what i will turn around and say as well I did, I have tried this game before, if you remember correctly, if anybody has been around recently, you will recall that I actually did begin this. I did actually begin this game, but then I dropped it, I think like two sessions in, because this game notoriously kept crashing on me. And all I can promise is that I won't drop it, but I might break some shit if it does, if it does it again. Because I think I did this on the original version, and now I'm playing it on the remaster. So like I said, if it crash, it keeps crashing, I'm gonna break some shit. You done fucked up now! Oh, he's screwed. Why? Why would you go toe to toe with the motherfucker who has a seriously? Why would you go at somebody with a drill? He's perfectly safe now. With a goddamn pipe. This is not. Oh. 
Fuck this you bitch. Understand. Her ah. name is Eleanor, and she is mine. I hate her so now, much. Kneel, please. Right. So remove your helmet. At least with at least with um characters like Andrew Ryan and now, Fontaine. Take the they at least were right in so they had Take points and were charismatic. She's just a cunt. Fire. Fuck, she is just a cunt. I hate her so much. Ah, oh, I hate Sophia Lamb. Thank you. I am so glad that we have consensus in the chat that Sophia Lamb can fuck right off. I'm so glad. Also, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I legitimately fucking hate uh, the the helmet thing. Um, I, I legitimately hate this uh, this helmet crap, and I don't think there is a way that I can get rid of it. Unfortunately, so I'm just gonna have to fucking live with it. But there is something I did forget to turn on, my apologies. Where is it? There you go, dialogue. Holy shit, I'm a vampire. I will agree with that. I will agree with that statement for Sophia Lamb. I am so happy that you are black, Arizona, because you can get away with that. Not going to take a lot of it. I, see, now I need to, I need to, um, see, the reason why I, I, I need to kind of explain that Arizona is in fact black, because that's going to be visible on YouTube. Thank you, Arizona, though, for that 55 pounds or US dollars. Much appreciated, brother. You have again knocked Yuri off of her perch. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it, she's starting off strong today. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh crap! Shit. <laughs> uh. Thank you very much, uh, DV8. Much appreciated. Just like I said, I'm Real baby, real baby. My daddy can beat up your daddy. <laughs> well, my daddy can drill your daddy. Well, my daddy is literally a big daddy. Uh, 1540.
I got the program. <laughs> Popcorn. Yes, I'm selling programs. The fight between Yuri and Arizona. My is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on gene tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him, you want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that, that certainly is, uh, that'll certainly help. Father. Fuck no. No, it, no, it is. It's interesting to know, one of the earlier generations of uh, Big Daddies were actually sat out, were actually designed to have plasmid capabilities. Think about that, that's a fantastic, fascinating fa aspect. I wonder why they got rid of that. Well, you gotta you, hold on, Arizona. Here's the thing: you've got to remember, Yuri is German. Like they're good at starting wars, but never good at finishing them. Now I wonder how many people I just pissed off with that comment. And I wonder how many fucks they think I give. Alright. This is gonna sound really fucking weird to some people. Like, legitimately. This is going to seem weird. Bear with me. Right, what was uh, used plasmids? This? Yeah, you just read that correctly. I've switched it. I've switched it to. Hello! Rule, <laughs> baby, rule, baby! But no, you read that correct. I'm actually going to be switching over to using the right click for my fire for my weapon and my le left click for my plasmids. Dita Red Seven, thank you for that follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Crisis Core. Now the reason why is because it's kind of a it's kind of a perspective thing to fu that fucks with me is obviously you look at it and you've got the plasma on the left, drill on the right, or weapon on the right. At last, a signal. You who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please. Find me in the Atlantic Express train station. All right, cool. Big Daddy still doing that job. I right, spend money to make money. Yeah. What? What was that? Sorry, I don't speak dead.
But yeah, it's it's just a case of my perspective. Like you'll you, you obviously see that it's on the left and the right. So I switched the controller to I switched my mouse to do that. Oh yeah, I, I've already turned around and said Dicornius, there is technically two games I've rage quit before. There is, I've always been honest, there are two games that I've rage quit. This one because it kept crashing, and Modern Warfare because I just could not get past the race to the control room on Veteran. Like I've never denied or shied away from that. I've been I've been su I've been straight with it. Like this one came down to technical issues. Modern Warfare came down to just I I, I wasn't able to get past it. I'll admit with that one I hit a brick wall. Asshole. Barely made it down alive. But here it is. And it's real. Oh yeah. Rapture. This is where that thing took my my poor baby girl. From what I saw in the sub, most of the city's in ruins. But there were lights here and there. And shapes. Moving. Oh, I'm rambling and scared, I guess. But maybe God damn it. if I find this Dr. Lamb I keep hearing over the PA, <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah, find right. Cindy too. Yeah, that, that that ain't gonna that ain't gonna happen. Ah, uh, it's a shame what happens to him. And for anybody who hasn't played the game, I'll one of you. I want I want to uh, spoil. Ah, big sisters. <laughs> big sister doesn't want you playing with me. Big sister can put right off. Ah, this is not fun. Go away. Off. Off. Oh, bitch, I just. I was just getting started. And uh, don't you just hate it this when they do that? Is Dr. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, Big Sister is always watching. To steal Adam is to steal from the Rapture family. Your family. Give it, a ti give it time, and any of you guys who haven't played this gun game in a long time, you will get sick of hearing that bitch. I find myself seeking a respite from my vacation. But she deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I founded Rapture to be free of law and God, to live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, Now I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. Yeah. This, and you know what? This is one of the things that makes me really feel for Ryan. Because the concept of what Ryan came up with, what, it, it was sort of working out in a way. But then when he decided to give the people something that they wanted, it completely 180'd on him. And turned everything that he wanted against him. Like, in some of the worst ways possible. Now don't get me wrong, Ryan was a bastard. Ryan was a bastard. Hell, you learn about that more later as well. 
But he honestly comes off a bit more sympathetic from this. Again, I I don't think I I is it better than Bioshock 1? Fuck no. Bioshock 1 set up a lot of standards. But my god, this game gets unfairly treated in my opinion. And I think one of the biggest drawing points that people have that they don't like is the whole gathering Adam, Adam thing. Which I can also get, but the thing is, if I remember correctly, I think it's optional. cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. All right, diary. Last entry. Lizzie and I, we found a spear, and we're going home. Ain't that right, baby? Next stop, topside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. It was you who saved us, Sammy. It was you, Button. I... What was that? What's that sound? She's seen us. It's Lamb. Torpedo! Ah, oh, I'm trying to... Ah! <laughs> Jesus. But no, like, I don't... I, I don't see it like that. Like I said, is it better than Bioshock 1? Fuck no. Even I can admit that. But this game, like I said, in my opinion, I think gets a, an, un, an, an unjustified bad rap. Hey, Kaden, what's up? What's up, brother? And plus, here's something else as well. People turn around and say they took the basic premise of this game was they took they took uh, the last portion of uh, Bioshock where you become a big daddy, and they basically stretched that out over uh, over an entire game. See, there's two problems with that. One, the big daddy section in Bioshock wasn't that good to begin with anyway. Because it didn't make you feel like a big daddy. This ma this game makes you feel like a goddamn big daddy. Second of all, the escort missions in that, the children could die. In this, they can't. And like I said, they are pretty much optional. They're there if you want to get Adam. Like I said, that was just one of the biggest problems with that. Like I, I think I even turned around and said that during my, um, my Bioshock Survivor playthrough. I, I found that section really disappointing. You arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. Thank you. Now uh, give me a minute. There's someone I'm trying to. There it is. There it is. Hold on. Hold on. Aim down sights. Useless as a motherfucker, but I am going to remap it because it's it's mapped to T. Like, the mapping in this game is awful. Like, it's fucking terrible. There you go. Switch it to that. Yeah, plasma, that's fine. I'm fine with plasmids. Next plasmid. It's not what I'm on about. Uh, Next ammo. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind the next ammo being that. It's gonna happen, Diconius. Like you turn around and say that, but it's gonna happen. I mean, for fuck's sake! I think after playing the Evil Within on a Kumu mod, I'm. Get fucked. No, you, no, no, no. You, you got your wish with me doing a Kumu mod. You've ran out, you have officially ran out of favors with, on, in that department. 
Uh, as far as requests like that, you have officially ran out. Oh, you dick. Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They are drug addicts. Vicious animals. <laughs> you have no power here. Some of that dude right there. Alright. Switch over. Ah, nice. Okay, wait, is that set to B? Why in the fuck is Why the fuck is this set to B? That's that's stupid! That is stupid! Sorry, did I I haven't touched this game uh, in a while. So the the com the controls are completely rebound back because I, I didn't set it up. That day's stupid! Why is it me? Is is it E anything? Cause I'll just set it to E. Why the fuck is it me? Fuck! What the what the hell? Wait, the dollar, the dollar bill. What the what the hell's the dollar bill machine? I, I, I like you. You have to remind me what that. What is that? <laughs> the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> Real bit. Oh, I drilled her pretty good. Nope. Overriding that bitch. People grow tense and isolated in the absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. They miss the state censor, I want. Wartime seizure of private assets. Or the Cheka police vanishing them in the night. Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. And that's what I'm talking about. Right there. Right there. Leads down, begins the begins one of the biggest downfalls of Andrew Ryan. That's another thing I like about this about this game is it adds another dimen dimension to the entire power struggle. Do you know what I mean? That's one of the reasons I like this game. It adds more dimensions. Oh, okay, then fine. No, I could I could deal with without that. you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart, out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. Because like me, Delta is one stubborn son of a bitch. Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Ah, you, you wouldn't, you don't say. You know, the bulletproof glass barely holding. I'm invincible, bitches. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Ah, oh, good lord. But yeah, no, I could I could probably do 1999 mode on uh, on that. Like like I said, that has been like that ha that has been the plan. There are only certain times that I will add stipulations now you or something to so um, to a game or where I want to do on, on their highest difficulty. Me to watch through your I'm eyes. trying to think. There was one but game I where I was like, I her. there's no way I could feasibly do it on its highest difficulty. There was one game, and I'm trying to remember what it was called. I'm trying to remember which one it was. But even I was like, this is this is not feasible for me to play on its highest difficulty. But no, like that that is still the plan. Um. There was uh, another game actually that I was planning on doing on a oh difficulty. I'm not too sure. I don't. Funny thing is, I don't even bother with the map system. Careful, security cameras belong to Lamb. But if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, one of the aspects about this game. Also, hacking! Though it's simplified, honestly, they also do hacking better in this game. And I don't want to hear about it. Like, the hacking was alright for the most part in uh, in uh, Bioshock 1. It was alright. But, like, after prolonged periods of the entire game hacking, it became, like, mind-numbing. Where in this, it simplifies to the point where, no, you, you, don't, mind, you don't mind hacking all of the goddamn time. Yo, the bitch. There we go. Come here, 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 come here. No, 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 you motherfucker. Get it. No, don't. Got it. I'm goddamn run around with a fucking turret. Sorry, I was trying to remember which one the save button was. There you go. Ah, giggity. Oh. Okay, my low run of plasmids right now is concerning, but nothing that is overly problematic. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Yeah, exactly. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. <sighs> oh, telekinesis. Alright, let, let's see if I actually get use out of it. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. See, today that's considered domestic abuse. Yeah, thanks for that. Like I, like I said, the plan is always to try and do games on their highest difficulties with... That was it. It was Devil May Cry. It was DMC Devil May Cry. I didn't do it on he Hell and Hell mode. I did it on Heaven and Hell mode. Bye! <laughs> Fucking God! Damn it! I just killed one of my own sentries because he decided to go down there and be a goddamn idiot. There would be no rapture without me. No city without me.
stop the Atlantic Express. Ryan took his first grand tour on my flagship coach. But these days, personal bathospheres are all the rage. My rails only connect the oldest parts of Rapture now. And the city's just... just left me behind. <laughs> Plenty of cash in the bank, though. This private vehicle craze will blow over soon. No, it won't. No, it won't. Like that, 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 that's, that is a sign of progress, my friend. Alright, let me just jack everybody's shit. I will turn around and say, as well, when I eventually get to do, um... When I eventually get to doing Resident Evil 3, I have this, I will probably leave this up to... Great, thanks. I probably will leave this to a small little, uh, decision. Ugh, of, using this what do I do? Do I do it on Nightmare with no like equipment? Or do I do it on Inferno with some additional equipment? Has awakened you. These people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. I've read the word splicer scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and Christ his face. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this singing. And he took off like hell on wheels. It sounded like a kid, a little girl. Cindy's alive, I know it in my gut. Cheers, man. Because from what I've heard of Inferno mod, oh boy. That, that's gonna be some special shit right there. Ah, there it is. Sorry, that's what I was looking at. White is not black, Dr. Lamb. Down is not up, and straw is not gold. Look around you. Rapture is no miracle. It is a product of reason. Impossible unless one and one are two, and A equates to A. And yet, alone, each man is a prisoner to bias. Dream, delusion, or the pain of a phantom limb. To one man, they are as real as rain. Reality is consensus, and the people are losing faith. God Take damn it, does it really, it means that much to you, doesn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell, thank you, Yuri. Thank you so much for that $50, much appreciated. Oh, holy shit, that's 100. That is $100 you crazy bastards have given me. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. Oh my Delta. God. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny. One you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Spartan. How you doing, man? Well, today finds you well, my man. Irony 
is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. And there you go, that's how you know that she came in with a fucking purpose. Yeah, look, look in the, um, well, I mean, if you are, oh, okay. So yeah, that's how you know that Lamb came in with di with ulterior motives. Damn it. Running. Yeah, that flippy shit ain't gonna mean dick. Quickly, head for the elevator. Hi. That is why Arizona, you use it multiple times on one enemy until it runs dry. Now, here is what the children tell me. You are a very old big daddy, bonded I'm the big, for big life daddy. to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. Will do. I can do that. Well, I mean, I have done that. What can I? What? What, what am I saying? Yeah, well, what, what I do is... What's up? Dumbass! Fucking dumbass! They give off a damn light! Why would you still... Anyway... But no, like, just use it, dr use it dry as a motherfucker on one enemy until it runs out. Because then you'll get at least get one and a half. Like, but no, I can de I can totally get that it can be annoying. I just kind of cheese it a little on that regard. Which, there's a fucking, okay, I read that too. Which is a goddamn irony considering the XFL just went bankrupt. Like, they just shut down the XFL again. Despite the fact that I think it was drawing decent numbers. Dr. Su Chong's death was a nasty blow to the Protector program. But I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again, but I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight. Like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more. Something stronger. An unbreakable physiological bond. Which they end up succeeding in.
Well, in fairness, with Dana White, like, at least you've got something there considering, like, I mean, look at what he did for the UFC. Like, he turned that motherfucker around from losing a shit ton of money to... Hold on, talking about faces. Mate, as far as faces go, you ain't one to fucking talk. Like, that, that is the pot calling the kettle black bullshit. Aye. You see? This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue Well, them. like, that, that, that is completely not, different from running a company. For my I'll sins. admit that. And the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens of Rapture. But anyway, Spartan, this if you're still here, how how's things been with you, man? Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people. Oh, we don't dare. or sympathy. It is a beast apart. And as family, we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lem will take this place apart to fight you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. I will do my damnedest. Oh, fuck me. There we go. That'll help me. Fuck no. Fuck no. What are you doing? There you go. Thank you. Now I must leave what you. I do. And I am sorry for this. But there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally and will guide you to Eleanor. Man, I love Sinclair. Air Delta. And good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Good to meet you. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building. The, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. I, I love Sinclair. I really do. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure. And though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lamb. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. And there, there ain't no, there ain't no words. That is the primary thing I'm going to be buying throughout all of this. My ammo is not going to be a major issue. Health and e health and. Evar. Is 
game's louder than I remember. Uh, this game hella louder than I remember. Whoa there! Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that. Hold on, Sinclair. I need to make sure of something. I need to be I need to be sure of this only because I can't remember. Oh, it's F it's F11. Fuck that. Uh. Ah. A glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. Incinerate. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Why? Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. I'm sure you have. No, then my, my, my immediate question is, why? Why or why an amusement park would you sell something that could literally firebomb an entire goddamn fucking amusement park? And to steal one from Helen Lovejoy, won't someone please think of the children? participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor, loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. Fuck do I hate her. Holy shit do I hate her. She, she is a psychopath. No goddamn fucking, no, absolutely no emotional attachment to her own daughter. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. Like, yeah, Sinclair is out for himself, no doubt about that. But there's also a sense of respect and... He also comes off as a man, we, we figure this out later, that he ain't a man to break his damn promise. Like, he's not a man to break his word on certain things. This being one of them. I need to go for that initial damage. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. And here we then. Ah, uh, little sisters. I got a golden ticket. Jim Dandy, that'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff. Mine, mine, that is mine. So you'll need to locate one. 
I heard whispering near Fuck the yeah. El Dorado Fuck lounge. yeah. Have a look. Fuck yes. This thing is useless for a while. Give it a little time, this thing will be a goddamn powerhouse. But right now it is absolutely fucking useless. And yeah, I will be going for hedge. I will, unless I'm in like a really bad dire situation where I need to shoot my way out, I'll be primarily going for headshots. Because they actually mean a damn. Like I said, Ryan is a bastard. Like, no doubt about it. But this game does also make you feel for him in certain regards. I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please. Boss boost. <laughs> this yes, Enjoy fuck this. Car. This is necessary. My God, if there's one I'm going for. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Well, the thing is, is Ryan didn't start off as a dictator. That is one of the... That's kind of one of the worst twists of irony, is he didn't start off as one. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. A state-of-the-art submersible platform, nicknamed the Sinker. Ferry supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the seafloor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected health. Sorry, these are fascinating. After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of Rapture, workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. See, this is coming off left. <sighs> Ow, fuck. Son of a bitch. This is coming off less of a uh, theme park and more of a m museum. Which was not what was intended. Damn it. But I mean, he definitely became one. Like, no, no offense or buts about that. He didn't, he didn't. Well, that's broken. He definitely became one. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not. Oh fuck, that would be great. Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, let's let's think about this. They are making a new Bioshock game. Who says that it won't be a? Who says it won't be a VR game? There's every possibility of that. Oh yeah. Right. 
Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Bitch. Make him stand still and go for the head. Jock and shoot. Or as I like to call it, shock and awe, because the last words coming out of their mouth will be, oh. I heard you! You never see a cup out of man when he's taking a piss. Seriously! The fuck is wrong with you? Heavy rivets. Oh. I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there in service of the common good. But then I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care? Each of us I would die to lose it suicidal. Increase the On perhaps joy. that point alone. And Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture alone. is deliverance. Motherfucker, have you seen what you've done? You've used your you've twisted your own. We are the family. And through unity, we transcend. It's her hypocritical bullshit that pisses me off about her. Fuck it now, what a headshot. Oh man. That's a pile of gunk. You broke it, didn't you, Edna? Everything you touch turns to shit. Oh yeah. Mean. You're mean, Roger. It was probably your clumsy fat you hands the that the it up. Bye guys. Typical broad. Stay away from <laughs> Oh, you! You're new? I don't recall you! Huh, I don't. God damn it! <laughs> and that was an accident! God damn it, that was a legit mistake. I'm not kidding, me shooting that woman was just a mistake. Especially to get her in one hit. Okay. Need to go and get the plasmid from there, but I also need to go and get a little sister. Ah, finally, someone, someone talking sense. What's up, Nat? How you doing, man? Yeah, I mean, it, it, is it? Here's the thing. I, I've turned around and said, do I think this is better than Bioshock Two? Uh, Bioshock One? No, no. I even I could agree with that. But this game does make some improvements, and I still, and I think it's underappreciated. Ah, little Easter egg right there.
Right. The only thing I can turn around and say that I do not like about this game. Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. The only thing that I admittedly do not like. Look on the edges of the screen. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for. <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mum says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog eat dog. I wanted to see these dog eaters, so I waited until Mum was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. That is one sheltered fucking child. Holy shit. Look at the corners of the screen here. It's... See, I... I, I don't... I get for the sense of immersion. But man, that was like one of my biggest complaints with, Super with Metro Prime. I, I don't like it when games cut off s parts of the screen. I just don't. Oh, shit. Alright. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. Uh, no shit. Hey big boy. Come on. Come on, over here. Over here. Ah, oh, you dick. Do you have any idea what you've done? Well, you don't piss me off for one. Fuck. Smack the shit out of me then. Get in the water, get in the water, get in the water. Down you go, big boy. Ow. Down you go, damn it. Take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Wanda? I found one of those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a Yeah, and also it's just a case of... It's just a case of blind spots as well. You know what I mean? Skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her now more than ever. All right, come on. Also. We're talking about little touches. This is a little touch I love. If I can get one, if I can now, find a there shadow. Are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. Uh huh. Let me let me try and find a good shadow. Because if you actually find a shadow. That, you, that will cast your shadow, you actually see her on your back. She's actually there.
I'm fucking certain of it. I do recall that small little detail. But yeah, I mean, it, it's also an FO... It's not really necessarily an FOV thing as well, but it's just a case of blind spots. Like, let's say I'm fighting something on a hill, and they just happen... Like, the, the arm is also a problem, but, like, you know, you gotta She's deal got with it. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. Oh, yeah, I know. Ugh. Fuck me. Okay. Just put her right down on that corpse. That is a child of the family. Oh, go Not fuck yourself, a lamb. There with me, guys. All right, there you go. Sorry, I haven't had a drink. Uh, I haven't had like, um, I haven't had a drink all stream, and I'm just kind of parched. It's a bit still talking. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt. Oh fuck. Yeah! One moment! Who the fuck you shooting at? Come here. Now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. Dude! I had, a, I had that bitch in my sights. No! Oh, there we go. Take that. Alright, best thing is, I'll ask me to come back here. Ah, oh, you fucker. Damn that fucking that recoil door. Oh, I'm done dealing with you. Spoiler. Guy, I'm done with your shit.
Go on, I'm I'm curious. What what do you guys what do you guys think of um What do you guys think of Bioshock 2? The children have finally fallen asleep. And now that the park is all quiet, I can't sleep myself. I guess it's just you and me, Mr. Voice Recorder. You, me, and 1959. I wonder what the new year will what was that? Something's happened. The lights are going out. Kids, stay in your sleeping bags. It's gonna be fine. This is probably the most... One of the most depressing sets of recordings we're going to find from this teacher. Really? It's your favorite? Nice. Nice. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy me playing it. Yeah, that that recoil right there that you just witnessed, that is one of the reasons why I said this get this gun isn't the best at beginning. But I'm gonna use it because But look at that. The fuck out of my face! The fuck you doing? Will you? <laughs> Shit! Now the assholes are signing a pack of machine guns. Didn't anybody teach you any manners that you're not meant to throw shit at people? Especially dudes with big old fucking chain guns on their arms. Then again, is he holding it or is he? Is it attached to his arm or is it? Or is it like, or is he carrying it? Not entirely sure. It's the same as the drill. Does, does like his arm go inside it? Because at least I know with the rivet gun, he's clearly holding it. And this, it just looks like it's applied on his fingers like this if you look at it. Weird. On the surface, the farmer tills the soil, trading the strength of his arm for a hole. Here's thing, I would agree it's the weakest. Here's the thing. I will turn around and agree that it is the weakest. But it's also it also leaves me better satisfied with an ending than fucking Bioshock Infinite, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Like this ending compared to Bioshock Infinite, fuck! This ending gives this ending's miles more satisfying. Stop moving! Oh! He's not wrong. That's the thing. He wasn't wrong. Now, I will turn around and say this. I've not played Minerva's Den. It was one of my biggest regrets about playing this game is I didn't follow up by playing Minerva's Den. And unfortunately, by the time I remembered about Minerva's Den... Hold on. By the time I remembered Minerva's Den, I was deep in a lot of other games and I'd already played Bioshock Infinite. Now, what I might do to make up for that... What I might do to make up for that state, for that factoid, I might play Minerva's Den on this on on uh, hard mode. I felt that the gunfire the gunfire was satisfying. Like I did, I did find it. I found Columbia to like. Here's the thing. Like this is the absolute worst thing. If you take Bioshock Infinite, in my opinion. 
and you make it a new set like maybe maybe after Bioshock 2 they make the a Bioshock series anthology like an anthology series where it's a different story different place different timeline alternate timelines kind of stuff if you add that like just a new maybe a new dictator a new city stuff like that new story I totally get it but then you add that multiverse stuff and it's like you have officially gone right up your own ass if it was a standalone story and didn't loop back to Rapture, then I'd, I, I'd be perfectly fine with it. It's just the ending of Infinite that bugs the fuck out of me. I don't think the gameplay is bad. Dude, both at Burials were not bad. I did enjoy Burial at Sea, but I just... It, it was it, to me my biggest problem with the burial at sea. It was a ham-fisted attempt to try and connect both games, like the first, second, and then infinite. I'd love to sit down to tea. I think I'll send her an introduction by post. Got it. At least that's how it seemed to me. Again, I'm the minority on this. I know I am, but I'm not going to change my opinion. Oh, Book is dead. That was... Mm. Well, at that point, he was Comstock, not Booker, really. Um, Sorry, I'm looking around for something here. I know I'm looking for something specific. I know this is here, but I was looking around for something else. Huh. and my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. I'm holed up in this workshop, surrounded by those wailing brats, trying to beat their way in. They want my food, my guns. They want it all. But I got a plan. I'm gonna fix up the transport sub that's been rusted in the maintenance bay. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of this hole. These animals want Rapture? They can have it. Yeah, yeah, we... we, we I already went over that. The, the hacking in... Bioshock 1 is cool, but the problem is for like a game for the length of the game It gets tiresome very quickly where they definitely simplified it and made it more Accessible for the simple fact is it's supposed to span over an, a whole game and you're supposed to utilize hacking Did that motherfucker just He did that motherfucker tanked that fucker. Okay, I'm done with you. You and your pamphlet! I am not interested in your timeshare, bitch! No! Come here, come here, come here, come here! Bollocks! Luckily, it was right there. <laughs> All right, Keith, we've almost got enough Adam now. 
To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down. Now, to anybody who is going to ask this, because I know they're going to ask, why have I got Vita's, uh, Vita Chems open? Well, two reasons. One, it's been a while since I played this game. Two, I just did the Evil Within on Akumu mod. Give me a goddamn break. <laughs> I'm going to be riding that fucking ticket for, the, for a while now. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that ticket in my back pocket for a while now. <laughs> oh. Plus, if you really want to lord it over me, just count the amount of deaths I have. Oh, I hate the save system. That's a cool sound. Yes, three little angels. All gone now. I wonder if they miss their mommy. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling oh, against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. Now, here's the thing. This is the biggest misconception that pisses me off. And one of the reasons why I absolutely hate her. Basically, what... What, um... What, what Ryan set out to do was basically create, in short terms, if I'm going to be able to sum it up, the true American ideal. Basically, you come to America and you have the opportunity to make millions. And all of that shit. That's what Ryan set out to do with Rapture, where if you make food, you know that, you don't, know that food is taken from you. That's your food. If you decide you want to sell off that food to make profit, you have the right to do so. Now, there are some ethical issues that can be raised, like all of the experimentations on plasmids and stuff, and all the little sisters and shit. Did someone just set off one of my traps? Hold on. No, he didn't want to set up an anti-capitalist society. He wanted to set up, like, the ultimate capitalist society. Where what you have is yours and no one can take it from you. But if you want to use that to turn a profit, you are well within your rights to. But like I said, and but uh, same with artists with the ethical constraints and stuff. But uh, like you can, you can turn around and um, how do I explain this? Um, like you, you see a lot of, you see a lot of um people getting offended by art. And movies and stuff like the idea of rapture is that that wouldn't be a thing like people could be offended But they wouldn't be able to boycott your shit. Do you know what I mean? And not not that they wouldn't be able to they'd be free to but they wouldn't be able to get you shut down for doing it Do you know what I mean? That is the idea of rapture the, the ultimate freedom begins to rise above his fellows but the parasites say no discovery must be regulated it must be controlled and finally surrender right but then you get to ethical problems and dilemmas like this where ryan kind of misses the ballpark on it Free of regulations of government control. Exactly. That is one that is definitely one of the aspects. But then you take the problems that this brings up. It needs to be regulated and so, so on. No, like the scientist should take credit and own what he makes. I agree with that. But without ethical constraints, we end up with little sisters. 
Need I say more? An artist strives to frame his ideals in an image, to challenge his audience and make his vision immortal. But the parasites say, no, your art must serve the cause. Your ideals endanger the people. And this is where I can also agree, this is where I can actually agree with Ryan. Art, like comedy, should not be censored. It shouldn't. Like, it should not be censored. You should be free to express how you want. But again, we come to the ethical... We come to the ethical dilemma of... What happens what the, when that extreme is taken? What the fuck? What happens when that extreme is taken? You end up with Cohen. Mosk, you just fucking said what I said. You literally just said what I said. But yeah. Ah, but then Mecca, then you've got the issue. Here's the problem with your statement that you've just said. Here is the biggest issue what you said. What Rapture also champions is freelance work. Like you own what you make. So if you work for a company, the company owns it. But say you've got a scientist who wants to work on his own, who has the resources to work on his own. Again, you end up with the mad science di dilemma. It's like I said... A lot of what Ryan, at least in my interpretation, I'll admit, because that's just my interpretation. Now, Turnbaum would have you um, turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls are likely to try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Also, let, let's take a moment to also take this into consideration. This this goes to what I was saying about, yes, um, Sinclair is out for himself, obviously. But if you notice, he didn't necessarily... He, he, he told you the, the end result of everything. And basically said, the choice, the choice is up to you. Like think about think about what I've said and everything you gave you both sides and then left the decision to you. Where Atlas was very much pushing you to to drain her. But yeah, what 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 I, what Ryan seemed to at least like I said from my interpretation, from a lot of what he was trying to set up was he was a ch he was on surface a champion of individualism. Tin Man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. At least he's honest as well. Uh, it's then that he gives you his honest opinion. But again, you know, he, he, he's not going to judge you. Oh, 
Fucking hell, the recoil on this thing! <laughs> Bitch, you dead. God, I love the rivet gun. I am nowhere and everywhere, Matt. Oh god. Now I did kill another son of a bit. Is that him? That might have been. All right. Fuck, I'm not gonna lie, I think most of my bullets found the window instead of them. Alright, now there is no section. Oh yeah, heavy, heavy and ri rivet are, but I like to sit I like to save my heavy for big daddies. Using their great talents to provide to twist the lies of church and government, believing themselves masters of the system. But the parasite said, No. The child has a duty. He will go to war and die for the nation. I mean... I don't know. I've never been a biggest fan of uh, conscription, so to speak. Uh, mandatory, not mandatory. Yeah, mandatory military service. I, I don't. I don't find something horrible about that. You know what I mean? I do find something horrible about this. Two weeks at my last count. Two weeks since we were trapped in this rotten park. I haven't been eating. Children need all the supplies we've got left. Need them more than I do. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I can feel myself getting weaker. The children have noticed the condition I'm in, of course. What will happen once I'm gone? I'll be all alone. Fuck me, God damn it! And this, this, like I said, if anything, the weird, the weird thing is, is like, yeah, Bioshock 2 was, how do I, actually, there is a way, exactly. I will turn around and say this, you know one of the best ways I can describe my appreciation of, um, it, even though unlike Dead Space 2, where I think Dead Space 2 is the superior game to Dead Space 1, what I will turn around and say is I do, with, with my fondness for this game is kind of like my fondness with uh, Dead Space 2. And this game also is more depressing. Is that water? There it is. There we go. Like this, this game can be outright fucking depressing and oppressive. That's also one of the feelings, that's also one of the feelings I get from Dead Space. Two. I uh, met with Sinclair today. Uh, this Sinclair. piece of shit. It's this pseudo legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has and make them go away. I could fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella <laughs> if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? I ask what? And he flashes me these thousand dollar Steinman teeth saying this job will, quote, change history. Uh, this guy. Oh, the one motherfucker I regret not killing.
Because I'm going for good endings. Yes! Fuck! Right! Yes! No, I said I didn't go for damage at uh, first. No, because this gun needs the goddamn recoil sorted. Me for fuck's sake, I'm a big daddy and I... Ah, that feels so much better. Oh shit. 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 Fuck. That was a fuck up on my part. There we go. Um, I mean, I've acquired silver lining. I got a sentry out of it. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna be hacking so much shit in this game. I think I already got an achievement for hacking. I think there is an achievement. Fuck yeah! One of my favorite movies of all. One of my favorite anime movies. Love that mover. Though one of the biggest problems with that movie is the fact that they didn't account that obviously they made that and then Dead Space Extraction came out and kind of doesn't take your time, dude. Yeah, yeah. And really kind of ruins it a little. Notice that. If I do recall correctly, there is. There it is. In the summit else around here. And there you go. Not even Ryan liked it. Yep. Not even Ryan liked it. Come on, choppers. Tear this place down. Oh, you Boom! 
headshot. Sorry. Why, hello there. My name is Andrew Ryan. I built the city of Rapture for children just like you. Because the world above had become unfit for us. But here, beneath the ocean, it is natural to wonder if the danger has passed. If those we left behind will... You know what? No lie. You know what? This makes me really wish. This really makes me wish there was a sniper rifle in this game. No fucking lie. I've got a little dating tip for you, Jimbo. It'll get you out of that lonely hearts club for good. This scheme works 100% of the time. Guaranteed. First, find some Betty and take her to Ryan Amusement. At that time, they don't think there was splices. Uh, in this is key. I ain't kidding around. Then you buy her a ticket on Journey to the Surface. As soon as you hit that first scare, bingo tunnel of love. Holy shit! It's it's a goddamn miracle. Delta can get drunk. No, there wasn't. But the fact that they added a zoom makes me wish there was a sniper rifle in this game. Yeah, they didn't add one until the third game. The only thing is, I don't think I start using the drill until I get the charge ability. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. I know what's coming next. This cause? No, it doesn't. Watch out. Okay, where the fuck did. Oh, f Wait, I saw that. I know it's in there. Yeah, our big sister's coming. Okay, I know it's in there. God damn it. Ah, go fuck yourself. Mm. So, Yo, that would add to work, Mecca. You're right. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice. You are a cancer. sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the Little Sisters. Something physical. Possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them Big Daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills. That's dark. Light up enemies to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. That's the plan. All right. Congratulations on your recent purchase of the incinerate plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her? Oh, a party. But this party just hit the skids. Carl needs a light for his cigar, and no one can help him. Not helping. Not helping because I need as much fucking plasma as possible. Hey, look, another Gavin Garden.
Now, I don't know why they... Okay, I know why there is two. Don't get me wrong, I know why there is two. But it's just weird that they went out of their way to program one over there with only three, and then another one here with more. I... I don't get it. That seems needlessly complicated. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, fuck my life, and fuck everything in between. Yes, this door did close. Right off! This way, bitch! Wait, what? I could have sworn I could have gone in here last time. You dumbass! You absolute fucking retard! That right there is why he saved the heavy rivets. Holy Moses, son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Fuck well, no. Come on Fuck back no. to Melty Ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. Dude, heavy rivets, that, that's why I don't use heavy rivets in normal combat. Unless I'm going up against a big daddy or a big sister. Because fuck dealing with them any other way. Oh, hold on. That's useful. Can't let him get on a roll. If you do that, then it's fucking annoying. Sorry, just. It really sounds like something is up there. Whatever. No. So for a second then, I was thinking, I'm sure there was another place blocked off by ice. I might be thinking of something else. Outstanding sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. We're gonna have issues though. Hello? I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I had 
thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? I don't know, when I rip yours off, tell me. Lem was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Oh, I will. Hold up. Come on, come on, dipshits. That right. That right there is why I need to move faster because these fuckers can outrun me. No, 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 you completely, you completely misrepresent, you're completely missing my point. I'm sure I can check my tonics. How the hell do I check my tonics again? No, I have the tonic sports. I have the sports tonic. Now I know there's multiple sports tonics that allow you to move much, much faster as well. That's why I'm after them. Like, there is, they're going to be essential. Boss. That's what I'm after. Oh crap, are we already at the City of the Dead? Shit. I don't think we are yet. No, but the heavy guys are. There they are. Here are the roid monkeys. Subject Delta is now trapped in Pauper's Drop. All Fuck. rail car travel is suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn citywide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. Yeah. All right. Before we go in there, I'm going to take a quick short break, and I will be right back, so don't go anywhere, guys. What's up, everybody? I just wanted to take a moment to tell you all about my Teesprings. The reason I set up a Teespring store is because I had a multitude of ideas that I felt would look really awesome on a shirt, and I felt that maybe people who follow me, whether on Twitch or YouTube and enjoy my content, would actually like to wear them. We have shirts from the Crisis Core logo, to in-joke shirts, and just straight badass design shirts. I only put up what I believe to be the highest quality designs on these shirts, and set them to affordable prices I believe that people would be able to pay. So if you enjoy my content and you want to support me, why not buy a hoodie shirt or other apparel from my Teespring store? Or don't. I mean, it's your money. You do whatever you want with it. What's going on, guys? This is FC Violent. Shout out to my guy Dante Crisis for allowing me this spot. So I have a gaming channel on YouTube. Go to YouTube, search FC Space Violent, and you'll see my channel. It's two parts. One part, I do individual videos highlighting Sony Interactive Studios, Xbox Game Studios. Basically, I do deep dives on each development studios and their games if you like that type of stuff definitely check it out second part of my channel is i host a monday night 
gaming podcast. It's called Vitamin G Gaming Podcast. It's a different type of podcast, man. My guy Dante Christ is a ho- is uh, one of the panel members on there. Check us out, man. We do different things. You might like it, man. Get your daily dose or weekly dose of Vitamin G. Anyway, I'm FC Violent. I'm out of here, man. Remember, keep it gaming. Peace. What's up everybody, I'm Dante Crisis and this is my channel where I do let's plays, interviews with internet personalities, preview screens with betas and demos and talking points on stories in the gaming world that I wish to talk about. So I hope that this trailer will interest you in subscribing and becoming a part of the crisis. And we're back. Hey, what's up, Booty Warrior? How you doing? Ah, that ain't my intro. That's my that's my commercials. They're my commercials. Advertisement for Teesprings, advertisement for FC Violent and the VGP, and uh, my trailer. My, well, my YouTube channel trailer. Oh, just the trailer in general. Okay. Yeah, so now we're going into basically the... What is the equivalent of the slums? Yay. Uh, it's not because I'm upset to be here, it's because the Roid Monkeys are now going to show up. Nothing but a bunch of Brock Lesnar's. And i got two little sisters to worry about here. But, but, one benefit, I get my double barrel. Teammate. Yeah, that that's the one I'm talking about. Sports boost. That's the one that I need more of. Okay, I need to get the other ones of that. Dude, take it to the damn face. Yo, what? My portfolio! Yo! Play as soon as we do, Booty Warrior. Ouch! Fuck! I remember you, monster. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. Oh. 
Ah, oh, fuck, this is not going to start well. Fuck, I hate dealing with roses. I hate going against Rosie's. Ah, oh, slightly worse when you've got to go up against the motherfuckers with the goddamn turrets. I can't remember which ones they are. But. Oh wow, I'm I'm out. Oh shit. Oh no you don't. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Got him. Come here. Wait, what? Okay, that was an accident. That was actually a legit accident. Bollocks. Shit. That was a massive accident. Well, I'll be sure to not make that fucking mistake again. I'll admit, I fucked up then. I fucked up in a really bad way. I can't believe I made that mistake. <sighs> Again, that was on me for switching things around. I fully take, res I take full responsibility for Nina to do this. 
I remember you, monster. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swan into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. All right. We shan't save the likes of you. That'll help. No way better position to deal with them. Ha, <laughs> okay. It does wits help you clearly not? Right. Yeah, there you go. Come on. There, I rectified my fuck up. Very quickly, too. Doctor, you're free to kneel before whatever tribal fetish you favor in the comfort of your own home. But in rapture, liberty is our only law. A man's only duty is to himself. To imply otherwise, therefore, is criminal. Ask yourself, Andrew. What is your great chain of progress but a faith? No, it isn't. The chain is a symbol for an irrational force guiding us towards ascension. No, oh, the great chain is a concept, an idea, not worship. No one goes to. No, that, that is like the biggest. Oh, and that's why I hate this bitch. That's why I hate this bitch. No one goes tonight. Ryan does not go tonight. Giving five hail fucking chain uh, hail links to the great chain. Fuck's sake. Shit. Fuck. Do I hate her? Thanks. Hey bitches, this is my bone stick. Oh, 
Pam. Ah. Fuck, I love the double back. <laughs> God damn, double, double barrel in this game is good. But no, seriously, like, her argument falls apart once you realize, oh, wait, people don't go go to church. People don't have areas of worship. There's the biggest difference between religion and something like what Ryan's setting up. Sorry, just die. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I tell Lamb to go fuck herself. <laughs> what the f- Oh, I think that was a goddamn fucking dart. Yep, yeah, there's the angel. Go on. Family, that monster has taken another of our babies for his own. Tin Daddy is hollow like a jail cell that needs filling, and he will never let her go unless you hunt him down. I mentioned yet I fucking love this gun. Come on. Let's go. You're doing good, kid. Alright, I'm gonna. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go and pick up some bookshop. And right, someone you. Go! Mm -hmm. What's my line? Die. I'll find you. Where where was it, kid? Adam Daddy over there. Ah, gotcha. Absconding with the innocent power. Motherfuckers don't learn. Come on, Daddy. It's close. All right, we're going down here, are we? Yeah. Shit. Maxie's on the little one. What's up? <laughs> Fuck, I hate these guys. Fucker, where are you going? You fucker!
God, I hate those guys. Fucking pains in my asses. Clinic. 0047, wasn't it? Yeah, 0047. Where I remember there being a button. Hey, uh, I love this music. Something tells me that I didn't go the way you- The oh, fuck? Right? And something tells me that I didn't go the way they planned. And gum. Oldie toy, newie toy. <laughs> A stage hand? Jesus fucking Christ, I forgot how loud this thing was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I legitimately forgot how loud this goddamn thing was when it was upgraded. <laughs> Holy crap, all of that is loud. Oh, Jesus, I love this fucking thing. Fuck off. There we go. Now what I'm doing is I'm preparing. I, I'm going ahead, getting, uh, moving, and like moving everything across uh, around that I can. Because I'm eventually gonna have to deal with another big daddy. Fucking hell, that is that is loud. I know I've already bought attention to it, but Jesus Christ doesn't make any doesn't make it any less true. Oh,
In Ryan's rapture, I am the pariah. You You're a pariah regardless. Ideas, but I wonder, how devoted are you to the rapture people? If you wish to know more, wear this butterfly brooch at our next session. If not, no harm done. We shall never speak of it again. I think that's- I think I also- obviously, I, I can tell you one of the other reasons I hate Eleanor Lamb. She's a fucking manipulator. And if there is one thing in life I absolutely despise, it's manipulators. People who do so willingly. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? And there you go, this is what makes this even better. Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Stop. There you go. Watch your Cause you'll fight them. Him, then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. Worst part is I can't see shit right now. Can't you keep up? Boom. Though it can be a little annoying, given that. This is it. It's over. I built this railroad from nothing. Played by Mr. Ryan's rules. But then he asks me to sink my own cash reserves into the banks to give Rapture some breathing room. wants to buy me out. Decommission the entire rail. I have no family. And no time for friends. I am the Atlantic Express. And this... This is the end of the line. Alright, come on, kid. Let's do this real quick. This is gonna suck. The monster has taken another children family he would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our God Ah, oh, no boom time. Hurry on, kid. I got this. Uh, let's go. This is another one right behind me. Where are you? You ain't hearing jack shit no more. Just a little fact of life right there. Right. Yeah, in com in in heavy combat like that, it's hard to get what I 
would like nice that, that helps a lot so does that again I don't trust the game Yeah, I should have also I should have also mentioned this. Thank you. I should have also mentioned this. I am actually going to be running for some reason when I got to Hold on. Jack. You're absolutely correct. Hold on. Right. There isn't a stream. There isn't a stream there. One second, guys. Oh. Yeah, according to this, I'm not even live. Wait a minute. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry to hold things up, but the technical technical problems outside of my control have come up. Like, it's going to everything else, but it's not going to YouTube. What the fuck? Meaning that... Uh, how long has it been like this? So we want to refresh this and see how... Uh, well, that's not a surprise. Oh, right. Fucking, fucking fantastic. Let me re let me restart. Let me restart. I'll be right back. So I'm live on Twitch. Sorry about this, guys. I love technical issues completely outside of your... All right, mix. Life. Maybe D life's life. What the fuck? Come on, what the hell?
orange. Stream health. Okay, check resolution. Check resolution. What the fuck are you talking about? Check resolution. Video output low. YouTube is not receiving enough video to make move streaming. As such, viewers are expecting buffering. The fuck crack you want? No, I'd rather people bring it to my attention, Diclonius. <laughs> I'm not mad. Like, I'd rather someone bring it to my attention. And just, I'll cut this out of the recording. Because according to this, it's not receiving enough video. Low video, uh, low input, uh, video input low. I, ah, uh, I, not a fucking clue. Because the worst thing is, apparently D Live hasn't been getting any uh, a few of my streams recently. Sorry, something went wrong. Try reloading the page. Okay, I'm thinking it's YouTube. I'm thinking YouTube might have fucking sparked out. My apologies, everybody. That's why you shouldn't even say everybody. You're the only person watching Diclonius, I think. Like, Twitch is getting it. Mix is getting it. YouTube is apparently too damn low. Dude, this is... A, this is... You know... <laughs> Twitch would have more people watching. Like they, they would they would corner the market entirely if they just allowed people to change the quality of the videos. And it wasn't locked behind partners and affiliates. Let me say, I'm gonna try reloading again. There we go. There we go, everything should be back live.
Ain't gonna mean dick. I lost all my goddamn viewers. No, not even a case of letting people run at the bit rate they want. I, you can have standardized bit rates. No, just let everybody choose the quality of the video. Like, let them choose that. Let them click on that co cog and let them change it from 144 to 260, 480, 720, 1080. Just let them bloody do that. Too much to fucking ask. Like I said, I lost all my damn viewers because of that. Thanks. Anyway. Sorry about that everybody, technical difficulties, so you just saw a jump in the video. Right, there's one last little sister. So yeah, what I was saying is, I think I think I left off by saying this. Well, what I forgot to mention, I should have said this, is that this is going to be all little sisters. Yeah, YouTube wasn't getting any data. That's what was happening. Well, sport, I guess Grace is home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Since you already laid your hands on a genetic research camera, this next part will be easier. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take them out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. All right. See so, ya, yeah, we still good. And so I lost everybody because I, I don't know. I wish if my stream goes is thing. If my stream goes down without me saying it's gonna go down, just take that as just tell me if it goes down. I'll stop my goddamn audience because of that. No, I don't want to.
Didn't I get that? Yeah. No, I didn't. Shit, I'll go and grab it when I'm on my way back. I built this railroad from nothing. Played by Mr. Ryan's rules. But then he asks me to sink my own cash reserves into the banks to give Rapture some breathing room. And now, now Austin goddamn Bathysphere wants to buy me out. Decommission the entire rail. I have no family. And no time for friends. I am the Atlantic Express. And this... This is the end of the line. Sorry about those noises you're hearing. I'm getting technical support. Right. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. Holy shit, I didn't even realize how low health I was. Fuck. That works. Now, start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Thanks for interrupting. I wish I could publish this stuff. It's newsman pay dirt. Sinclair says Ryan's making a move against Sophia Lamb, and they want to cut me in on the action. They're building a case that Lamb's a closet pinko, sort of an undercover thing. So I cozy up to this guy Wales, who works for Lamb, making like I want to join up. Then. I find out whether he grew his beard for Jesus or Karl Marx. Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. Yeah, sure. Go. Let's try this out on somebody. What's up, man? Hey? Okay. God, I hate this sometimes. You're a fool. Come on, where is she? But you can't wait for my stream tomorrow, can you? <laughs> Here, 
Father, oh. it's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. Ah, uh, ah, oh, thanks. Oh. <laughs> Hypnotize your foes. Laugh as they fight each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you know it's every, you know it's gonna be every Thursday, and then you'll know when we're in, and then and then that leads you into Friday. Cause that's usually how long they go on for. Look at this. You know it. That's it. We have to close down the limbo. Bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and Everybody panics, pulls their money out of the banks, a whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold, and maybe one in ten got their savings out. <sighs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor? All right. But you know you get your va you you know you get quality entertainment from me, though. Let's be absolutely fair there, Dicornius. Go. Of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? I ain't taking shit. My square focus is on you, bitch. Like, you are my one and only. Right, now, when it comes to getting the other little sister, which I should be able to get here soon, I just went for a big day to show up. This is where I'm going to do it. This is where I'm going to drop her off.
And the reason why, rocket turret, big camera. What is it? I'm smarter than you. Really? <laughs> Didn't seem smarter. Like, did you fuck seem smarter? My Leave them at least. This can't be right. Too slow, bitch. I was gonna say it's a meth lab, but it's actually a boom shine. It's actually a boom shine lab. To a walking death. Okay. Okay. Here is also the major hypocrisy of all of this crap. Why does this woman have a beef with me? Because apparently I stole. Because apparently Delta stole Eleanor and turned her into a, a little sister. Does she not realize what Lamb's doing? And powers of manipulation can be a scary thing. I just heard a big daddy. Bingo! What's up, homie? How are you doing? Nothing personal, this is business. The fuck? Come on up here. Once again, you end the fight chain title on your side. <sighs> Wait, has the YouTube side gone down again? Or is it just fucking with me at this point? Oh, fuck right up. It's changed everything. What the fuck? Oh, for the love of fucking Christ. I didn't end shit.
Right, um, I might, I think I can. It was, well, it is. But it's also having a fuck, but now it's changed all the goddamn information, I'm having a fucking stroke on me. Video, video removed inappropriate content. Okay, I gotta see this. One second. Does it again? Okay, I gotta find out that. I, okay, I'm I'm gonna keep that open for later because I gotta find out. Apparently, the other stream got took, taken down for inappropriate content. So part, like, the first part of the stream before it went down, making me think that my stream got taken down because of inappropriate content, though, obviously, I'm still able to stream, so that begs the question. By the way, everything should be changed, so on YouTube, if everybody wants to uh, refresh, it should have changed by now. That's, that's interesting. What the fuck? That I'm keeping in. Thing is though, I don't see, the worst part is, I didn't, I, 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 is there anything that anybody here would consider inappropriate? Outside of everything I do, and what I mean by that is, and what I mean by that is, outside, I, everything I say, I usually say anyway. Outside of anything I usually say, what the fuck else is new? That's, that's some interesting shit right there. No.
There it is. I'm pissed off. I'm a deranged fool with a gun then. So, you know, watch your shit. That's the thing, and that's the thing. Uh, it's it doesn't say. We we've removed this video because it violates our community guidelines. You'll be able to. I don't see. Hold on. Like all it's saying is. It's been taken down due to community guidelines. Nothing specific, nothing like that. Daddy, are you taking me home too? Or I'd be specific with you when I'm not being when YouTube's not being specific with me. Video removed for inappropriate content. Okay, so it's been okay. Inappropriate content. That's kind of a broad spectrum. And the button. Kind of like the spectrum someone's on for taking that down. Okay, done. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I'm thinking, speculation, my stream got taken, I think my stream got taken down for inappropriate content, as it's saying on the video now. The Tin Daddy does not have a family of its own. 
It is a made thing, a creature without soul. It does not create, it does not love. Can't have a proper maker of our accusations. It's all over their faces. Never let the guts to say it. I'm going to screen grab it. At the end of the stream, I'm going to screen grab it, put it on Discord, put it in di and put it on Twitch. Again, the problem with that mecha, and again, this is something that is profoundly fucking strange to me. What is... Th how different is that from the rest of my videos? And it's not like I set myself to be uh, appro appropriate for children. I'm strongly against being appropriate for children. Because I can assure to sh I can assure to shit you that it I am not. Must find shelter. Hand me that child now. Adieu, everyone. I hope you had fun. Where in the fuck is she going? She's just out of here. Then at this point, I should pack up and leave because if that's the context of the new system, then I am sure as fuck Every single one of my videos is going to get taken down. Because I'm absolutely certain I say fuck at least twice in every single one of my videos. Oh, I'm not going that. Fuck that. I know exactly where I'm going to take this. Uh, yeah, at least. Exactly. See, K don't agree with me because he's right. I mean, I own a... I un I I say with I say with unabashed certainty, I have a uh, absolute foul mouth. Am I ashamed of that? No, fuck no. But yeah, for inappropriate content, the problem is it's not being specific. Like, was it language? Because, I mean, under their, under their own... Uh, sorry, again, a pause. Sorry. Under their own thing... Like I said, under their own thing, under their guidelines, it could be a multitude of different things. Like, especially when it turns around and says like inappropriate language but it's not it's just saying inappropriate content there it is right go on kid I'm 
No, 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 stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Oh, thank God. Oh, Mom. Telling the other girl that I have met Daddy. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. Um. I just, you know what? I wish, I wish, I wish YouTube would just be honest. They, they struck me because I'm ugly. Like I'm not handsome. I'm not pretty. I wish they'd just be honest with me on that. What the fuck? God damn it. Oh Jesus, that's a fucking view and a half. Ah, uh, that was my initial problem. I should have let her in here. That was my initial fault. Right, then. Now we're done with all of this, I can go straight into... Everything else. And what I'm trying to say, Mecca, and I have now said three times, it doesn't say inappropriate language, it just says inappropriate content. Blanket statement. Like, yes, it could fall, or any of those could fit into inappropriate content. is isn't giving me anything specific outside of inappropriate content.
Because, like you just posted, I see inappropriate language. I see adult content, violence, harmful and dangerous acts, drug-related content, harmful content, firearms-related content. And this last one is sensitive content. Content. Again, they all I'm getting is blank blanket statement inappropriate content, which covers all of that. They're not being specific on what it was for. All right, I need to find a gathering garden. Pretty sure there was one right over here. Oh, I'm actually getting used out of the map. Right. <clears throat> yeah. And I love having to repeat myself. Fuck, I love how they did that. I love how they've how they increased this. Plasmids use less Eve. Yeah, I know, but what I'm and what I'm saying is, I already knew all of that. I've been on YouTube long enough to know that, so I don't, I don't, I don't need. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this. I'm trying to say this without sending like the biggest dick in the world. But so I'll just say, I'll just say it the way I can. I don't need a refresher course on the, on everything that is on all of that stuff because I already know it. It's just the vagueness that is bugging the fuck out of me. Because all it is saying is... Really? All it's saying is inappropriate content. Which, Jesus goddamn Christ, that is the biggest of blanket statements you could give. And the problem with that is, I mean, I'm gonna delete it anyway because I've got all of this stream recorded. And I will upload it later. But my problem is, is let's use a hypothetical that I wanted to appeal that. Who knows how that I would do that? And slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Now, Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. Right, something this doesn't tell you. You're supposed to hit them together, but you've got to press... you got to press one slightly before the other. God, I love doing that. Like, holy shit, is that fun.
Like, luckily, it seems like I don't have a strike. Because if I had a strike, then I wouldn't be able to stream. You know what I mean? Sorry if I'm harping on this. That's slightly annoying, because I think that might have taken down my stream. So, it, it isn't a community guideline strike. It's just the video has been removed. And I don't know why. Like, that... How do I explain this? That feels like a manual thing. Like, someone did that manually. Then again, I might be paranoid. I completely forgot something. Old Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture, but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them. Like even like sorry, as I was saying, uh, and I'll just uh, just repeat myself because I, I don't think I made my point. Like it, appealing something like that can cause some severe issues if you lose it. So without any real context on being told why it was taken down, if I tried to appeal that, I'd be fucked. I know it's wrong to feel so fine right now. But I can't seem to quit this grin. Dr. Lamb came to tell me that Ryan's finally gonna lock her up. It's gonna gut the believers, and I should feel the same. But Sophia remembered that I, that I was barren, and she asked me to take care of her baby while she's gone. Baby Eleanor Lamb, gorgeous, clever little girl. I have a child now, and it's gonna put the whole world on right. By the way, she doesn't see me. Even with the light shining on them, they didn't see me. Fucking go figure. You beware. No need bitching about it all anymore. Still got the video anywhere. The baby snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. That is some bullshit. Feels no pain, my ass. And tell you what I'm feeling. I'm feeling tipsy. Ah. Uh, take it off, Delta. You know, at least they'll find me easily. Big giant.
We have footsteps are kind of a giveaway. I need to remember how to get to that. Everything here. Now, I do recall, I think there is a. There he is! Watching you hurt shouldn't give me such a. Right! <clears throat> Side as the doctor. <laughs> bitch, you are cleaner than the bitch. You ain't like, seriously. Oh, fish was hiding right behind him. Like that, I have no doubt she's cleaner than that fucking cunt. Stop. Freeze drill. Ah, oh, fuck yes, I love the freeze drill. Um. Come on, motherfuckers, let's do this! Yeah, tonics. Tonics and everything are gonna be my best friend for this. Like, I'm going to be. Blood divides us, monster. It's blood that makes us strangers. But thanks to Dr. Lamb, we're all family now. One people, one cause. You can stop this heart, bleed this old body, but you cannot end the family. And as for you, Tid Daddy, you're dying alone. No, I'm not. Now, I'm a modest man, but my piecemeal needle scam's an outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Hey man, that's what cap that's basically capitalism. I mean, it's wrong, but it's capital. The fuck is with this game and dead cats? Seriously. Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bunk. Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. Y'all a bunch of fucking drug addicts. And anarchists. You know, in many ways you are no better than Ryan.
Oh, and Sophia's case, she's a goddamn. <clears throat> and Lamb's case, she's a goddamn communist. Crap. Oh, worth it. I still got it. I think just stop moving. Don't, don't, don't tell me why, but I guess that means you probably won't be sh coming to my, my streams of it. Mrs. Holmes is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. And you notice what he did there? Straight up told you it's. In Observer, I'm gonna have to wait for that one. Here, rats, but I don't see his rats. Empty house, only an echo to my name, Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. 
I'm not even a half-mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? Go. Wait, how far behind are you? How far are you behind, Iconius? I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you, looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you oh, okay. knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Okay. Again, you're not my focus. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed for what it's worth. Yep. Hi. To hell with you then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun? Yet you just walk away? Mm -hmm. No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Uh, then no, then. Again, better than nothing. Oh, hi, guys. Again, throw everything at them. Mine. I say, eat a dick. But yours is mine. Go. Good opportunity to get all these. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. <laughs> I'm sure you'd have more than a few. By sparing Grace, 
Do you seek to gain my trust? Fuck no! A feeble. Fuck no! Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. <laughs> I don't want date from you, bitch! Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. Like I said, my problem is, oh, I mean, I'm gonna have to find out what the fuck went on. Hear me, oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God, ye shall never reach her God. Murder the Lamb of God? <laughs> Dick! Dick! you rode that torpedo into the great hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. Next time, because we're in it for today's stream. Ah, oh, God. Okay. Um. So, benefit. Good news. Not a single fucking crash today. So I'm fucking happy about that. Not, not goddamn happy about my goddamn YouTube stream going down and then being flagged for inappropriate content. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna see a side of shit out of that. So, he is an ass detective. There is no doubt about that. Alright, so with all that being said, I am going to end it for today. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe for my daily content, which might be flagged by now. If you're watching on DLive, don't forget to follow for my weekday streams. If you're watching on Mixer, don't forget to follow for my weekday streams and stay behind because we will be hosting somebody. And if you're watching on Twitch, don't forget to follow for my daily streams and stay behind because we will be raiding somebody, as we always do. First, quick shout-outs. First of all... Thank you to Zeta Red 7 on Mixer for following, and a big massive shout out for the 50 donation by, Ariz by Yuri and the 55 donation by Arizona. You guys are fucking legends. Holy shit, what the hell did I deserve do to deserve all you beautiful bastards? Seriously. Alright, again, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching everybody, and please, take care.